plastic surgery trends come Go. And this morning we have Dr. Pritchard, um, Chief of Plastic Surgery at John C. Lincoln Hospital. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on Morning Scramble. Good morning, Abigail. How are you doing? Good. So, um, Kylie Jenner, let's start with this. Let's Absolutely. just start from the top. I feel like Kylie Jenner has probably 50 million followers on Instagram. So chances are somebody watching this program today follows her, knows about her lips. She has semi-made those popular, I think, in the last two or three years. Do you think she's the one responsible for starting this lip augmentation trend? No, I don't think so, although, although she probably made it more popular. Yeah. However, lip augmentation has been around for far you know, longer than she's been around for. Yeah, okay. So she got them done probably 15, 16, 17. Do you suggest age? Wise, do you think does it doesn't matter if you're 15 or you're 70? 15 is probably a little young. Yeah, 15 is a little young. I, I look at facial maturity and okay. also kind of personality maturity, you know, maturity okay. of the person. And so if I feel like, um, number one, that they have um, those things as well as if they're young, they got to have some family consent behind that as well. Okay. Um, and probably wouldn't be doing lips at that age though. Right, right. And that's not that's not normal, but I yeah. think that's why it's been blown up like it has been and then people are starting to catch on that fuller lips are sexier. So what is the process? If somebody at home's watching and they're thinking, ah, I kind of have thought about doing this, what's the process? And also to avoid for people that are scared for them to look like duck lips, how yeah. is it that you go about that? Okay. So that's that's a great point you brought up. There's there's sensual full lips with a little bit of a curl right at the border, uh, and then there's duck lips, uh, okay. very fake-looking lips that nobody really wants. Um, I think you know. Right. No, I don't uh, think yeah. that's attractive. No. Um, there are a variety of ways of getting a lip augmentation. One is very simple in the office: a little bit of a injection into the lip with uh, some type of filler material. Okay. Juvederm, Voluma, those are really nice materials to fill lips. Okay. Um, it's very simple very minimal swelling you know probably a day or two and you look great okay however the bad thing about it is it goes away so that filler volume dissolves in one or two years depending on the product that you use okay yeah. okay now another way to do it naturally is to actually harvest fat either from you know a thigh or, or belly area like you're doing a little bit of liposuction okay purifying that fat and then you're actually injecting that fat into the lip into area that has a blood supply the little capillaries grow into those fat cells oh. and they stay there permanently. Okay. So that's nice. Fascinating. Because it's permanent. However, because it's um, fat cells, it, it causes a lot more swelling and so your downtime is a little greater. So do I read somewhere that they last three to four months. You said one to two years. Is three to four months a number that's out there on the internet? Is that, do, do they last usually longer than that? Oh yes, much longer than that. Okay. Uh, so it's probably, they're the probably time. using a, a less longer product, you know, less lasting product when, when they're lasting that, oh, that short period of time. But Juvederm intends to last about a year, Voluma about two years. Okay. Now the fat injections is permanent. Oh. So that's a nice thing about the fat injections. Okay. So, um, is there any, there's a couple questions that I've seen, common questions with it. Um, one, I'll just ask them at the same time, you can take it away. One is um, sagging, is there sagging? And then another one is, I guess you have most nerve endings in your lips. Can you still feel, have the sensation in your lips of feel? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, the nerve endings actually make the lip augmentation a little bit painful, if you, obviously, if you don't have any right. numbing. Most women or men, um, ask for the little, you know, oral blocks that numb the lips while we're doing the lip augmentation so they don't feel anything. They're a little sore afterwards. Okay. But, yes, uh, that, that feeling comes back completely, so you don't lose any feeling. Um, and as far as the sagging is concerned, I've never seen any sagging, but I don't over augment either. Okay. So I imagine if you over augmented the lips, I've seen some crazy lips. Yeah. Um, that as that goes down, then you're probably not going to get a great result later on. Okay, interesting. And, and then one more thing we want to kind of touch on. So trending, I, I told you earlier, I'm a huge dimple person. I love dimples on guys and girls. Mm -hmm. And I was Googling it and I saw that people get plastic surgery to get dimples. Sometimes they get a piercing. Mm -hmm. um, tell us with dimple surgery. That t seems like a trend with like Miranda Kerr and speaking of lips, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Garner and all of them. How do you do that? Well, I mean, Miranda Kerr is just a beautiful, she's you know, gorgeous. specimen. She's, she's <laughs> phenomenally perfect. beautiful. She's yes. And she's got very, very cute dimples. Mm -hmm. What a dimple actually is, is the underneath surface of the skin is actually attached to the muscle. So wherever else we have fat in between the skin and the muscle, in that one spot, it's actually attached. And when she smiles, you know, that muscle's pulling just that one little area of skin back, causing that dimple. 
Okay. Um, so when we create that surgically, we actually go inside the mouth, make a little incision, and then attach a suture to the skin, the underneath surface of the skin, to the muscle, so that when it heals, it heals attached. Oh, okay. Uh, and so that's, you know, that's a permanent thing as well. Very interesting. Well, just to wrap it up, tell us your website and your location of your office and all that. So drpritchard.com and Raintree and 101. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Morning Scramble. And stay tuned because we have a lot.